prominent differences that led to the Reformation. Differences between what the Bible says and what the Catholic Church was teaching and doing. And by the way, the Protestant reformers, Martin Luther, Calvin, Zwingli, Knox, these were all devoted, dedicated Catholic priests that were reading the Bible and they told the church, we need to get back to the Bible and the church says, we're not changing and so they left. So the Reformation was started by Catholics says that Jesus is the only mediator between God and man, 1 Timothy 2.5. Catholic Church says that Mary is co-mediator with Christ. Four, the Bible teaches that Christ offered his sacrifice on the cross once and for all, Hebrews 7.27 and 10.10. The Roman Church teaches that the priest perpetually sacrifices cross Christ on the altar at Mass. The Bible teaches that all Christians are saints and priests, Ephesians 1, 1 Peter 2. The Roman Catholic Church says that saints and priests are a special caste within the Christian community. Six, the Bible teaches that all Christians should know that they have eternal life, 1 John 5, 13. Roman Catholic Church teaches that all Christians cannot and should not know that they have eternal life. Seven, the Bible teaches that the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath of the Lord. Exodus 20, verse 8 through 10. The Roman Catholic Church openly admits that they have substituted the first day of the week for the seventh day of the week, claiming the church has authority to alter the law of God. Number eight, the Bible teaches we should call no religious leader father. Jesus said, call no man your father. That's Matthew 23, 9. You have one father in heaven. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that we may and should call priests and pope father. Nine, the Bible teaches not to pray in vain repetition. Jesus said, do not do that. Matthew 6, verse 7. The Roman Catholic Church says that we should say the Lord's Prayer, Hail Mary, or other prayers repetitively. The Bible teaches us to confess our sins to God, for God only can forgive your sins. Isaiah 43, Luke 5, verse 24. The Roman Catholic Church says that you must confess your sins to the priest for forgiveness. found in scriptures. They're relics of the papacy. titles is Holy Father. This is a title that belongs to Chapter God 3, verse alone. 9. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. What's interesting to note is that some of the scribes and Pharisees of Jesus' day used the title Father or Abba in Aramaic at the beginning of their name. And Number 2. Mary can't hear your prayers. The Catholic Church claims that Mary is in heaven now and that she is a co-redeemer with Christ. Number three, priests can't forgive your sins. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that priests have the right to absolve people of their sins through the act Number of confession. Four, the rosary is useless. The rosary is a devotion in honor of the Virgin Mary and it consists of a set number of specific prayers. Certain beads on the rosary represent a certain prayer or number of prayers. On the website howtoprayTheRosaryEveryday.com it gives instructions on how to pray the rosary in 14 steps. A few of the steps include praying several sets of Hail Marys. For example, step 3 says to pray 3 Hail Marys, and step 6, 10, and 11 say to That's pray a total 10 of Hail 33 Marys. Hail Marys. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 through 8, But when ye pray, 
Use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father... cannot save you. According to the website catholic.org, there are seven sacraments in the church, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, penance, anointing of the sick, matrimony, and holy orders. It goes on to say the sacraments impart grace, but in addition, the very act of celebrating them disposes the faithful most effectively to receive this grace in a fruitful manner, to worship God rightly, and to practice charity. Therefore, you need to do the sacraments in order to receive the grace of God. That's work-based salvation. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Seven, purgatory is not real. In Catholic theology, purgatory is a place that believers go to when they haven't been completely purified of some sins that are keeping them from heaven. There are three essential components to purgatory. Number one, that a purification after death exists. Number two, that it involves some kind of pain. And number three, that the purification can be assisted by the prayers and offerings of the living to God. No man has a right to change or try to change God's law. And did you know Bible prophecy warned us about this? Speaking about the papacy, the leadership of the Roman Catholic Church Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25 says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times, and the dividing of time. Number 10. The Catholic Mass violates Jesus. During the Catholic Mass, the Eucharist is celebrated where the host, which is that round-looking wafer, is believed to transform into the literal body of Jesus and the wine into the literal blood of Jesus. This is called transubstantiation. Thank you.